Good evening, guys, and welcome to Midnight Monday. This is our third episode. Um, if you want to go see the other ones uh, after this, you can. Uh, so we did the first week, we did humility. With the second one, we did leadership, uh, many different topics in there to cover and praying in the spirit. And then this week is called activity. I'll go in in a little bit and what that is about. But I want to say thank you so much for joining with us tonight. We are live and this is a, about a one hour prayer meeting, mostly praying in the spirit and building capacity, just like our prayer sieges. But we also have subjects and themes that we really use to as a, like, a, a, like a, a script from God's word of what we're going to pray into and bounce off. So I can see all your comments coming down. So Fiona, good to see you as well. Um, Juliet, good to see you. Uh, Evan, good to see you as well. Let's build an altar for the Lord our God. You know, uh, I still love the fire emojis. I can't get over them. They're still my favorite thing. So just as many fire emojis as you guys want to send out tonight, you know, please feel welcome to. So Darlene says, this is my first time here. Oh, wow. Good to see you. Um, I hope you enjoyed tonight. I don't know if you've seen any of the other stuff that we've done, but um, I'm sure it'll be easy to pick up tonight. Princess, good to see you as well. That's a really nice first name. So, um, yeah, we're, we're going to have a, a time of praying in the spirit in a bit and then releasing some things that God calls us to do. But I just want to say a massive welcome to my team as well around. Uh, they come out at midnight in the UK to do this. So, you know, such a, a great thing. So we've got Alex on the keys. We've got Winston on the bass. We've got James on prayer. Uh, we've got Balaji on uh, the drums, and then we've also got um, we've got Phil and Joel outside doing production today and all the production stuff. So that's going to be amazing. Um, it's good to be praying with you tonight, James. I know it's quite difficult sometimes when you're playing keyboards as well, so <laughs> I've got you free tonight. Yes, it's good to be here. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to tonight. It's going to be awesome. And how has your week been? Good? Oh, I've had an incredible week. I've had an incredible week. I've been at something called Wildfires, and God is just moving in an incredible way there. So good. So, yeah. so good. So, yeah. so, so good. Well, I'm a bit tired, but I'm pumped for tonight. I just sort of came back from London uh, this morning, and uh, I was actually speaking at my sister's wedding. Wow. Uh, so that was really cool. And so I got to do the father of the bride speech, because my <laughs> basically my dad passed away about three years ago. So I got to stand in his place and do his role. So it was a very special thing, a very special occasion. Also gave me um, a bit of a perspective in a number of years time when my two daughters grow up and I will be doing the same thing uh, for them. So it was a very special time. And uh, yeah, it was just good to talk about God in my speech and just so many people having so many questions about God afterwards. Wow. So if you're watching even from that wedding, you know, um, good to have you on tonight. And I hope you enjoy tonight. It's going to be a fiery one. Um, so I've just asked before we start praying in the spirit and giving praise to God, uh, I've just asked James to share something. He shared it with this. He shared this with our team about a week ago. And I've heard him share this a number of times. But every time he shares it, it feels completely fresh. And uh, it just really stirred me about the activity that can be stirred up when we pray. So, James, would you mind just, just sharing and recapping that a minute uh, to us, what you shared with our team before we get praying? Yeah, yeah. So it's just this whole idea that when we pray in an increased way over a specific thing, there is an increase of angelic activity. And we don't have time to delve deeply into this, but I'll just give you an overview, two areas of Scripture. One is Acts 12. Peter was in prison and the church prayed constantly for him. He was about to be killed and so it's clear from that scripture that if not for the church's constant prayer, Peter would have been killed. Now because of their constant prayer, what happened was an angel was sent to wake Peter up, his chains fell off, you know, the doors opened up, you know, and there was breakthrough basically. And, and, and that breakthrough came as a secondary consequence of the consistent prayer. So I haven't done this experiment, but I am convinced of the impact this experiment will have. If we all decided, let's say there's 100 people watching right now online, and we all decided that we're going to pray for one person. Let's just say we pick Matt. And so we all decided we're going to pray for Matt for 30 minutes every day. And we all made that decision, and we do that for a whole month. 30 minutes every day, we're going to pray for Matt. Without him necessarily being there, but we all make that commitment. 
Mm. I guarantee you that month, Matt's life will change. Yes. Because the increase of prayer for him by several people would cause a stirring up of spiritual activities around him. And so, yeah. again, I don't have time to deeply delve into this, but there'll be an acceleration of things around his life. Yeah. So one of the key things that I want to show you from Scripture that also points out this principle is a strange Scripture. It's not strange, but interesting. You probably never noticed this. Daniel 9.21, yeah. it says this. It says, Yes, while I was speaking in prayer, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in a vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, reached me about the time of the evening sacrifice. Now, this is Daniel speaking. He says, while he was praying, the angel Gabriel, I know he calls him a man, but it's actually an angel he's referring to. Gabriel was, he says, being caused to fly swiftly, reached me about the time of the evening sacrifice. If you look at that, you look at the fact that Daniel is writing in a way that's emphasizing time. Mm. He's saying the angel reached me at a specific time, at the time of the evening sacrifice. But back up a bit, listen to what he says. He says, the man who I've seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly. If you go your Bibles open, I'll say underline those words because I'm reading from the New King James. I don't know what version and how it says in your version, but yeah. that's how it says in the New King James. Being co caused to fly swiftly, he reached me about the time of the evening sacrifice. So the question I have to you is, what is normal angel speed? And the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what normal angel speed is, However, whatever normal angel speed is, this angel was caused to fly swiftly. So whatever that normal is, this angel was superseding that normal. Yeah. And the reason why there was a speeding up of this angel's flight was connected to the fact that Daniel was praying. In fact, he says it there, while I was praying. And so, again, you see a bit, a bit of a type and a shadow here of something I already touched on in the New Testament, Acts 12, where an angel was sent to set Peter free as the church prayed. As Peter was praying, there was a stirring up of angelic activity. The more we increase prayer yeah. in a focused way over a personal situation, we are creating pathways in the spirit for angels to travel and carry out the purposes of God in that circumstance. Yeah. And so this is why prayer is so important, especially when we focus our prayers and when we increase it and we're consistent in it. That's just <laughs> so powerful. I love that. <laughs> That's amazing. So we want uh, an increase of activity. And like James said in his example, you know, if you prayed for me half an hour a day, do do that if you can. <laughs> um, pray. <laughs> Maybe make a note of that and put it on your wall. Anyway, don't. If you prayed for me half an hour a day, yes, there would be, an, uh, there would be another, there would be a further increase of activity around my life and that's what we want to do today so we're not going to say names i'm going to think of some names in my head but we're going to pray for certain individuals friends family church some people to be awakened to the things of god some people to be saved to god some people uh, who have lost their fire to to recaptivate that fire back for god and so we're going to pray a whole host of activities over certain individuals tonight i want to say as well if you are watching this channel you've stumbled across this channel and you don't know what's going on we want to pray for you tonight as well that you would have a spiritual awakening that you would know that jesus christ is real and alive um, so we want to start praying right now. And I want to say it is good for us to even pray for salvation for people. One Christian once said to me, you can't pray for people to be saved. Well, if you read your <laughs> Bible and you go to Romans 10.1, you hear that the most uh, holy, one of the most Holy Spirit filled missionaries of all time, Paul, actually prays in Romans 10.1 to God for Israel, his brothers in Israel to be saved. You yeah. can read it yourself. Brothers, my heart's desire and prayer to God that my brothers, that Israel would be saved. So we can pray for people to be saved. We can pray and increase activity around people's lives. Mm. And God wants to answer those prayers because he desires that all men, come to the knowledge of the yeah. truth he desires all men remember that word all so every time you pray god's will he hears you and his will is that all men come to the knowledge of him and so we want to pray for salvation but we also want to pray for activities to be stirred up Amen. around certain 
individuals. I'm pumped already. I want to start praying in the spirit right now. We're going to give praise to God. So start standing up where you are and start praying in the spirit now. We're going to pray for about an hour and then we're going to start to hit some of these marks. Thank you, God.
Because you're real. Yes. He who comes to God must believe that he is yes. and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Yes. And Father, we thank you that you are real. Yes. We thank you that you're one who hears our prayers. You're the one who responds to every prayer right yes, now. Lord. I thank you that our prayers are sent as incense. And Father, I thank you that the bowls have been filled up. Yes. I thank you, Father, that you're taking note of every prayer, every release right now, Father. Yes. From a heart that's aligned with you, Lord. Yes. I thank you, Father, that we even tonight we ascend the hill of the Lord. Yes, Lord. We ascend that hill of the Lord, Father. As we ascend with pure hearts yes, and Lord. clean hands, Father. I thank you that we ascend to a place where our hearing is sharp. Yes. We'll begin to discern your heart in a clearer way, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the grace and the opportunity to be able to boldly approach your throne yes, even Lord. right now, Father. Thank you, Father, that we come boldly before your throne. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Father, that you're quick to listen. Thank you that you're quick to hear us, Lord. Yes. When we call out to you, the righteous calls unto you. Yes, and your Lord. ears are attentive to the cry of the righteous. Yes. And tonight, Father, we thank you that your ears are attentive to our prayers. Yes. Your ears are attentive to our cry, Father. Yes. For you're a God who hears and you answer yes. when we call out to you. So tonight, Father, we set ourselves in faith, yes. knowing that, Lord, you hear and you respond. Yes. You, you hear and as we call out to you, Father, yes. we thank you that things begin to shift, things yes. begin to move, Father. Yes. We give you praise because you send your angels yes. even on assignments, Lord, as we begin to align with your heart, yes, Lord. as we begin to pray your gender, as yes. we begin to pray your heart, Father. I thank you that yes. movement begins to take place. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are the God, Lord, of the spiritual awakening, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Thank you, God, like James said, Lord, that you send angels on assignment, Lord. Thank you, God, Lord. We say tonight, Lord, send your angels on assignment, Lord, in agreement with the prayers of the saints, Lord. You're the God of the angel armies. Yes, Lord. You're the God of the angel armies. Yes, God. The innumerable, the, the innumerable number of angels that surround yes. your throne, that serving you. Yes. But I thank you that the angels, they even, they even ministers, they minister to the heirs of salvation. Yes. I thank you, Father, that you've assigned angels to us. Yes. I thank you, Father, that we're not alone on this planet. We're not alone on the earth. That, Father, you, yes. have, you have angels assigned for your purposes. Yes, Lord. Even to believers for assignments, Father. Yes, Lord. And, Lord, even tonight as we pray, we ask that, Lord, our prayers would cause there to be such a stirring. Yes, that Lord. angels begin to be in motion. Angels begin to be yes, stirred Lord. into action. Father, I thank you just like Jacob's ladder. Yes. Where Abraham raised up the altar and angels were ascending and descending, yes. Father. We say, God, let tonight be that space where angels begin to ascend and descend, yes. Father. As we begin to pray, Lord, yes. let angels be sent on assignment. Let there be an acceleration even right now. Yes. Let faith begin to arise and a hopelessness begin to be destroyed, Father. Yes, when our hearts have been, have been connecting with the lies of the enemy, of unbelief and hopelessness and yes. discouragement, right now, Father, we say, let faith arise. Yes, For Lord. faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. Yes. And tonight we say, Father, let faith arise as you begin to speak into our hearts, Father. Yes. The impartation of faith right now. Let yes. it increase over every heart, Lord. That as we begin to pray, we pray with faith. Yes. We pray with faith knowing that you hear and you answer us. Yes, God. Come on, 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 come on,
individuals lord we pray for ourselves god and we pray psalm 20 verse 4 lord and we say lord grant to us the desires of our heart and fulfill all your plans in our lives fulfill all your plans in our lives lord so god we ask lord that you would stir up activities around our lives lord around us as an individual god that we would know how real you are god and if we've forgotten god bring signs and wonders and fresh stirrings lord of activities around us lord to show us just how real and how powerful you are god so god we're saying lord stir it around us tonight lord stir it around us as we press him in the spirit lord stir it around by open doors lord by divine connection lord by divine opportunities god open it up god in the name of jesus lord release tongues of fire in our hearts Yeah. 
increase of activity of your yes. presence, an increase of activity, angelic activity yes, around them, Lord. that they will begin to be turned towards you, Father. Yes, Lord. So let the veils be removed in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. And let eyes be open. Let hearts be open. Yes, Lord. Let the spirit of rebellion be broken, oh, yes, Father. God. And let there be a receptivity to the gospel yes. like never before in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, we agree fully, Lord. And we say, Lord, like the church praying all night for Peter to be released from prison, God. We're saying, Lord, let the prisoners go, Lord. Let the captives lead them into freedom, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. So every captivity we ask, Lord, that you would break off their life, Lord, that you would awaken them, Lord. Like James said, Lord, that you would bring, release them from rebellion, Lord, against you, God. That the wrath of God would not remain on their lives, Lord, but actually the love of God would remain, Lord. Thank you, God, Lord. So, so, Father, we say, Lord, free them. Free them in your mercy, God. Like you freed us, God. Free them, God. Free them, Lord. Send angelic activities to their door, Lord. Awaken them, Lord. Awaken them, Lord, with a fresh testimony of your goodness, Lord. Show them your goodness, Lord. Show them your power. Show them your reality, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, just like you sent Moses, and he went to Pharaoh, and he said, let my people go. Yes. Father, through our prayers, and our intercession right now yes. for people, these specific ones in our lives, where the enemy, like Pharaoh, has held them captive. Father, we say to the enemy, we say, let these people go. Amen. Let them be released from the hold of darkness. Yep. Father, we say right now, like Moses confronted Pharaoh, in the name of Jesus, we confront the dark powers yes. that will hold the souls of these men, these women, these boys, and yeah. these girls. Father, we say, let the people go. Yeah. Let the fathers go, the mothers go, the brothers go, the yeah. siblings go, the children go. In yeah. the name of Jesus, let them be released to serve the Lord. Yeah. Father, we bind the powers of darkness. We bind yeah. the enemy that's been controlling and manipulating their lives, Father. Yes, Lord. We bind the enemy and we terminate the assignments of darkness. Wow the lives of these ones right now yes, we say father those assignments are terminated in jesus name yes, and we Lord. activate a fresh assignment angelic assignments yes. angelic encounters encounters with the holy ghost yes, encounters Lord. with jesus we say father let those activations begin to take place yes, right Lord. now over these loved ones in jesus name yes lord yes father yes lord Awaken them to their destinies, Lord. Awaken them to their destinies, Lord. Awaken them to their purpose, God. Father, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that there would be such a distaste for the things that gave them joy, for the sin that gave them joy, Lord. There would be a distaste in their spirits, Lord. The thing that gave them pleasure would not give them pleasure any longer, Lord. That they would search for God in their hearts and they would be saved, God. So, Father, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would break off every sin that is pleasure in their life right now, Lord. That you would break off the hold, Lord, of their life, Lord. That you would release them to a greater pleasure, a supreme pleasure in you, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, awaken them to you, God. Awaken them to you, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, stir up activities around their life, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Father, we say let idols that they have exalted begin to come crashing down, yes. Father. As your presence begins to be revealed, everything that has been exalted, be it relationship, be it drugs, yes. be it drinking, be it addictions, yes. to all kinds of perversion. Lord, we say, Lord, let those idols come crashing down. Yes, Lord. Just like Dagon fell in your presence, the yes. Philistine idol fell in your presence. We say, Father, let these idols begin to crash down, Father. Yes, Lord. As you're lifted up in their lives, God, we say, let there be an invasion of your presence yes, in Lord. them. And as your presence comes in, let those idols begin to just crash and be destroyed, Father, that they begin to have a fresh perspective. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, I know a number of you right now are typing about family members, and that's my next target right now. Let's pray for a family member in your family, it might be in your extended family, it might be in your immediate family, that yeah. has not been awakened to God yet. They are not living for Jesus yet. We want to pray an awakening over them tonight to speak their name back to God and start to pray right now for an awakening of that individual. Right now I feel to break off cynicism of a family member's life. They're cynical. They think they understand God. They think they know what it's all about. They think they know church, but they have no reality of truth. They have no awakened spirit. So right now we say, Lord, let every cynicism go of that family member. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let every deception go of the name of Jesus, Lord, off their life, Lord, and awaken them, Lord, to truth, Lord. Awaken them to truth, Lord. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for all pride to go now, Lord, that humility would come in your sight, Lord, that would come in your presence, God. Father, we say, Lord, awaken this family member to your kingdom, God. Awaken them, Lord, so that they declare that you are God, so they declare that you are Lord, that you are King of kings, and that you are Lord of lords, and they can't stop talking about you, God. So we say, Lord, awaken, Lord, activity around their life, Lord, that they would go from cynicism to belief, Lord, in you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. position we pull it down right now father yes, we pull down every stronghold of cynicism we pull down every stronghold of unbelief we pull down every stronghold in their minds lord yes lord. we say god let there be a fresh revelation of jesus yes lord let those strongholds come down right now in yes, the name lord. of jesus yes
out tonight, Lord. And we're saying, Lord, raise them back from dead, Lord. And we're saying, Lord, bring them to life in your word, Lord. Bring them to life in prayer, God. Bring them alive in your ways, Lord. We're saying that in the name of Jesus, Lord, that spiritual activity starts to happen around our siblings right now, Lord. Start to awaken them, Lord. So let them start to understand that you are real, Lord. Let them sense your calling, Lord, on their life, Lord. Let them sense your stirring, Lord. Let them sense your desire to know them, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, awaken them, Lord, with dreams, Lord. Reoccurring dreams right now. In the name of Jesus. When Jesus comes to them in a dream and awakens them, Lord. Awaken them, God, by your spirit, God. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Father, with one encounter, you changed Paul. Yes. From Saul to Paul, with one encounter. Yes. So, Father, we say, God, let those sorts of encounters be released over our loved ones, our family members right now that we're praying for, Lord. Lord, just like you revealed yourself to Paul. Yes. And you knocked him off his horse. And yes. Father, you caused him, even though he became blind in the natural, his eyes were open in the spirit. Amen. And he could see you. He could see what he had never seen before. We say, God, let there be encounters released, God. Just like that in one moment, Lord. Break into the lives of our family members. Yes, Lord. Break into the lives of these individuals. We're lifting up to your throne right yes, now, Lord. Lord. With one encounter, let their eyes be open. With one encounter, let them be knocked off every high horse they've been sitting on. Yes, that Lord. stops them from receiving you. Every pride, every pride, yes. let it be demolished in the name of Jesus. Yes, every Lord. sort of pride, even self-righteousness, yes. whatever it is, Lord, we say, God, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And let Christ be revealed. Let Jesus be revealed. A fresh revelation of Jesus. Yes. We cry out for a fresh revelation of Jesus, Lord, even now. <laughs> So, Father, we speak your word back to you, Lord. And we say again, Lord, that you desire that all men come to the knowledge of the truth. That's right. So, that means all of my family, all of them, every single one of them, to come to the knowledge of truth. So, Father, we pray, Lord, that we call back the entire family unit to your kingdom, Lord. Yes. That there will be such a spiritual awakening, Lord, over the whole family, Lord. Top to bottom, Lord, from the youngest to the oldest, Lord, and those in the middle, Lord. We're saying, Lord, awaken their hearts, Lord. Awaken their hearts, Lord. Send spiritual, angelic activities to the door, Lord. Let everyone know that you are real. Let every tongue confess that you are Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, awaken our families, Lord. Release tongues of fire into all of them, Lord. Release families of praying, prayer, Lord. In the name. Jesus, Lord, awaken every corner of the family, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, awaken the family in prayer, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Spirit of conviction. 
nation, we welcome you. Yes, Lord. Jesus, you said the Holy Spirit will convict the world of righteousness, sin, and judgment. We yes. say, let the spirit of conviction begin to invade lives and hearts even right now. Yes. That will begin to bring an awareness even of what sin is. Begin to bring an awareness yes. of what the love of God is. Yes. Father, that while we were yet sinners, Christ loved us. I thank you for that revelation beginning to break in. Oh God, we say even right now, let there be a revelation of the cross, a revelation yes. of Jesus, of the sacrifice on the cross, the resurrection. Oh Lord, we say, Lord, let that be unveiled to blind eyes even now. We say, Lord, yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Awaken blind spiritual eyes to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. I want you right now in the chat just to type the word all. All. All my family will be saved. All of them. Every one of them will be saved. God, we say, Lord, the word all tonight, Lord. We speak the word all back to you, Lord. And we're saying, Lord, in the match with your desire, Lord, we're asking that all our family would be saved, Lord. Our siblings, our cousins, Lord. Our mums, our dads, Lord. Our daughters, our sons, Lord. Our uncles, our, our, our aunties, Lord. Everyone, our grandmas, Lord. Our grandpas, Lord. Every one of them, Lord, to come to the knowledge of the truth of God. So we're saying, Lord, everyone, Lord, we pray, pray, Lord, that you would stir into action a sequence of events, Lord, a sequence of events to come, Lord, that would awaken everyone and that everyone would have a different testimony about your goodness, Lord. Let us see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Let us see the goodness of the Lord in our families, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray an awakening over them tonight, Lord. We pray an awakening, Lord. We pray, Lord, a series of events to occur that would awaken their hearts to you, Lord. That would awaken their hearts to the realities of God. We pray that in the name of Jesus, Lord. Set it into sequence, God. Set it into sequence, Lord, for your glory, God. For your glory, God. We make that declaration, Lord, even in, in the book of Joshua, where it says, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yes. Father, we make that declaration tonight before you throne, that our families, our children, our parents, we will serve the Lord. And we thank yes. you that our household will serve you, Father. All, everything, everyone serving the Lord, Father. Yes. No one missing. Yes. No one stolen. No one taken by the enemy, Father. Yes, Lord. For everyone captured in you, given to you, wholeheartedly yes, surrendered to you, Father. Let there be household revival. Yes, Lord. Lord. Household salvations in the name of Jesus. God, yes, Lord. We fully agree with that, Lord. Household salvations, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, we even right now, Lord, where whole ga our whole families gather around the TV, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would flip that, Lord. That you would, they would all gather around fellowship and the word and prayer, Lord, as whole families, Lord. We pray that right now in Jesus' name, Lord, that you would raise up believers in every household in our nation, God. But we're saying, Lord, in our home, Lord, we're praying tonight in particular, Lord, that all of them yeah. would be saved, Lord, through a sequence of events, Lord, yeah. that you would stir up by angelic activity, by you revealing yourself to hearts, Lord. So, Father, we pray, Lord, every cynicism go in our families, Amen. Lord. Every deception, every stronghold of the devil, Lord, every lie be pulled down yeah. in the name of Jesus, Lord, that Jesus would be glorified in the household throughout yes. the whole of the household. So we say that in the name of Jesus, name Lord. Of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you that you are a God that answers prayer, Lord, and that you answered your word, Lord, when we pray it back to you, Lord. And we say again, Lord, let all of our family come to the knowledge of the truth, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, Lord, even as we go, Lord, that you would stir us for an in particular family member, Lord, that you want us to pray continuously for, Lord, in this next month ahead, Lord. Reveal that into us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Father, we
we thank you for tonight, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for hidden targets, Lord. We pray, Lord, that this is the beginning. This is a springboard into so much activity in our friends and our family, Lord. Yeah. That we are seeing salvations that become disciples, that become all sorts of incredible people in you, Lord, that go into great exploits in your name, Lord. So, Father, we're saying, Lord, stir us as intercessors yeah. tonight, Lord. Yeah. Where Jesus is a good shepherd, but he's also Jesus, the intercessor, Lord. Let us know Jesus, the intercessor for our family and friends, Lord, in our own life, Lord. Thank you, God. Stir up that gift in our lives, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yeah, Lord, I also want to pray for specific revelations, especially in dreams. Yes, Lord. Lord, I pray for those watching tonight, even those that have never had significant dreams. Now you begin to speak through dreams, but also as we're praying for our families and people that have not encountered you, I pray, God, that they would have encounters in their dreams as well, Father. Yes, Lord. That you begin to reveal yourself to them when they're asleep, even tonight, Lord. We pray for encounters that can't be shaked off, Lord. Yes, Lord. That marks them in a special way. We pray that, Lord, everywhere they go, they bump into people that know you that they will not be able to run away from your presence. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Father, that they would always be surrounded by someone that would speak your word of truth to them, God. Yes, Lord. And Lord, even as we pray for family members, we also ask that you would give us opportunities to be witnesses. Yes, Lord. Bold witnesses, not condemning, not being horrible, but Father, we ask that you would give us the right opportunities Amen. where we can speak the truth in love or where we can release a word of wisdom. Yes, Lord. Or where we can say just the right thing at the right time that just carries your presence and brings about conviction or brings about an encounter of your love with the people that are listening, Lord. Yes, we Lord. say, Father, let there be divine orchestration of those unique moments. Yes, Lord. That we could be witnesses for you, Father, that even as we release our prayers, you yes. would help us to be part of the fulfillment to these prayers. When the opportunities come up, Lord, that we won't shy away, but we will be a voice for you, God, Amen. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, we fully agree with that, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. I want to say, if you feel stirred by the Holy Spirit, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. You might want to even play this, replay the stream, and you might want to pray in particular for another family member or another friend to come to God. But let's keep using that gift that God has given us, that incredible gift of intercession to see increased activities in someone's life that we really care about. So I want to say thank you guys so much for being with us tonight in particular. It's amazing that you would pray at midnight. I know a number of you will be praying at different times, depending on where you're watching around the world. But I want to say well done for building capacity and praying according to God's will. Um, I want to say this Friday night, do remember this Friday coming, June the 10th, we are going to be having an all-night prayer meeting. So we can't wait for that. We're going to have live people here in the studio praying, but also online we're going to be live. So between half 11 this Friday night, UK time, half 11 and 6 a.m., we are going to be praying all Can I add, night. add something you, to uh, yeah, that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, we're not going to be in this studio, but we're going to be here. Okay. <laughs> we're going to be across the... The reason I'm saying that is some of you who are in Manchester, you may want to physically come and join us. Amen. We do have room for some live a small live audience and so if you want to join us uh, this friday coming up uh and be even if you can't make the whole night but you want to come for part of it let us know because we have a limited space and so i would love to have uh, some of you in the room with us uh, we it's a small space we're going to have the band all together and we're going to try to make it in a way where it's going to be we're going to be all together for the whole time and i'm looking forward to that because we haven't done it this way before so it's going to be really exciting i hope you can join us it's all night prayer so it's going to be amazing yeah Yes, yeah, so if you enjoyed tonight, that's I, I believe that's going to be like this times well six. <laughs> times six, six hours. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be amazing, and do get along to that if you can. 
Uh, but if you are in another country and you want to be praying along, obviously we will be online and press on TV like usual with that. I want to say if you enjoyed tonight, just hit that thumbs up button because again, it recommends the, the video to other people and it might stumble across someone that's never known Jesus before and they get awakened to truth. So do share this video. Do give it a thumbs up. Do let us know in the comments section in the actual video itself if you enjoyed tonight, if you got something out tonight. Um, but uh, I want to say it's been a massive blessing. In front of us, if you never watched these before, we have a big TV so we can see all your comments. And we just love praying along with you guys. So honestly, have a great start to your week. And we will see you on Friday night in particular. James, have you got any wise words to leave us with tonight? Sorry. I didn't have any wise words apart from go home and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. Amen to that. Amen to that. I've stayed up so late. I'm thinking I just yeah. need to go home and sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. So good. So yeah, have a great night's sleep, guys. And God bless you. And we'll see you later on, on in the week.